Drinking Buddies. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like this one because it's all about the pony bottle. Uh, we got a Blanton store pick versus a regular Blanton's. Find out which one's better. I'm excited about this because I've never had a store pick of Blanton's before. Me neither. Let's um, uh, let's dive right in. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> As you guys know, uh, Blanton's is a uh, single barrel, um, so they do differ from batch to batch. But somebody from Churchill Cigars, Cigars um, picked this one specifically. And, uh, you know, this was a barrel that they really liked specifically. Um, you know what I wonder? Here. 93. So it's regular proof because these are 93 also. Yeah, they're 93. Yeah, 93. But I wonder if, if they pick, when they pick their private barrels with Blanton's, is it six, seven, or eight years old? I wish they would say. Yeah, so I guess with Blanton's, they're between six and eight years old. And yeah. they just say they dump them when they're ready. So mm -hmm. they could be any time. Uh, Unless you go to Japan. In Japan, you get the eight year. That's right. It's the gold. No, just oh. the regular. Oh, they, oh. And, and Japan gets the eight years all the time. Yeah, and you can also get wild turkey twelve year all the time there too. And some really cool wild uh, four roses stuff too that we don't get here. Yeah. Well, Japan kept the bourbon uh, uh, industry boom uh, alive for a few years. Like yeah. distilleries like Wild Turkey wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Japan's love of bourbon in the eighties and early nineties. So yeah. they did kind of deserve some of those uh, yeah. those perks. Well, Grab glass one. Cheers. Cheers. Buffalo Trace Cherry right off the bat. I smell a little heat on this one though. We're on the same glass, right? Yeah, uh, right here. Yep. Cinnamon. And this cherry, I got a little- Yeah, there's a little bit of an ethanol thing. I got a little hint of chocolate on this one though. That just me? Uh, more like, for me, it's vanilla. more Vanilla. Like, yeah, the vanilla is huge. There's that orange peel. A little bit of a barrel thing going on too, a little mm -hmm. look. I'm gonna have to say this is the barrel pick, man. This might be the barrel pick. That is really good. I think it has a little bit more oak to it. Really cool um, mouthfeel and mm -hmm. uh, tingling sensation going on in my yeah, tongue. Yeah, same. Um, it's like Pop Rocks tingling sensation. Yeah, um, and the mouthfeel on that is really nice. So, Syrupy and... But Blends has that very unique mouthfeel, you know, peach. like we... Peach. I'm getting peach. That's true. Anyway, sorry. No, you're good. It's just, that was like a shocker. I was like, damn it. He said peach and now I'm tasting peach. Way to influence. No, I'm just kidding. This does definitely happen. Yeah. But, um, the mouthfeel that Blanton's has is very unique than no other bourbon. It's got this softness, like, like butterscotch type of mouthfeel, not flavor, just the mouthfeel. Like that very, leaves like a film in your mouth. I'm getting that, Very but with oak, too. but with oak, and I'm not used to tasting oak off of blends. Off of blends, that is really that is really good. Which is uh, weird because either way, it's a single barrel. Yeah, they're not blended. This is very true. Uh, it, this is this this is one of the trickier of the um, uh, tastings of the, of the tastings of the is the store pick better because. Uh, you know, this is a single barrel on its own. I don't have a big bottle right now. I just recently finished one. Uh, so I use the little mini. Plus I can put this on my Christmas tree. So win-win. Yeah. Win. Uh, but these are single barrels, so they could differ from batch to batch. So it's possible to get a Blanton's single barrel that's just like mind-blowing. But the chances are pretty good. If they had a barrel at Buffalo Trace that was yeah. mind-blowing, they're probably going to be like, let's set that aside and sell it as a barrel. But now I'm wondering, is this an eight-year-old? Could be. It's tasty, whatever it is. Because... I can't remember tasting a Blanton's like this. I didn't want to put that glass down. That was really good. I didn't want to either, but I kind of want to go back to that one last. So this is a pretty similar nose, to be honest. The color is pretty similar. Sorry, I'm not trying to turn my back. I just want to see the light. Pretty similar nose. More cinnamon, more vanilla, and more cherry. But it's lighter and brighter. The that, second one is. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't get there's that. There's not. You're right. There's not that ethanol smell. Mm -hmm. This smells just like regular Blanton's. It's 
See, there's that mouthfeel. Maybe I'm wrong though about the oak. The oak pulls through a little bit, but not as much as in this one. This has got a walnut-y thing going on. The second glass? Yeah. I know I don't get the normal um, cherry that I get off yeah. the most Buffalo Trace stuff on the flavor. I almost get a Brazilian nut. Dude, this is cool. <laughs> like, this is so good. This is this is a cool little uh, uh, experiment in here because blends in general, I mean, people like to, to dump on this bottle because people are willing to pay high prices for it, but yeah. it's a good bottle. It's just hard to find. Like, it's just never worth the MSRP. Or more than the MSRP. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I meant. 80 bucks for a bottle of Blanton's or less, you're, you're going to be happy with it. You pay more than 80 bucks for a bottle of Blanton's, you're probably going to be upset because it's just frankly not worth that. I mean, I um, might pull 100 bucks on it if that's, if I'm like, if it's there and I really want a bottle of Blanton's and I don't have any, I might pull the trigger on 100. If, if I'm correct and this first one is the pick, I would pay $100 for another one of these. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I would too. But I Because I, I think the first one is better. I've seen barrel picks go for $130 and more. Um, I've never had a barrel, blick, a barrel pick of Blanton's. I know I'm on the list for one, but I don't think the price changes. That's good to know. That's good to know. I'll let you know when I get there. <laughs> the second one is... It's still good, but I feel like it falls flat compared to the first one. Definitely. I mean... And now I'm getting a little bit of something fruity. Falling flat might be a strong word to put up against it, because it's Blanton's. It's still good. It's really good, but I'm saving the rest of this, because I got to say, it, man, I got to say that's the store pick, and this right here is the regular Blanton's. Yeah, still think, really good. I think we're at consensus, so I think we should just figure it out. Let's just, just figure it out. So, uh, one and two, right? Yeah, one and two. I don't know, man. I lost my mind when yep. I chased this one. So, oh, oh, wow, okay. We like the regular better. We both did. Yeah, 100% right, but this is this. I, I, want, I know. The regular Blanton's was in glass one. So Ooh. we finally, yeah, and I'm 100% sure of it because I put, I literally yeah, took you the did. time to put you the did. bottles in this you order. Poured, okay, so this not is only that, but you, you poured this first. Yeah. No. Yeah, the, the regular Blanton's beats the pick. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> Hey, you know what? That just means, it just goes to show, single barrels can vary from batch to batch. They're almost like store picks to begin with. This is really good. This this is really good, what we got in the glass one. <laughs> this is good too, but man. No, this is really good, but <laughs> my God. I'm kind of glad that a non-store pick finally won. Because uh, this, uh, I, I would actually say I got. I would actually say it's not that close for me. I, I say that this it's one's not dramatically dude. better. It is because of the, the oak. Yeah, it, it tastes a little bit older. It tastes. Uh, uh... <sighs> but again, Blanton's never tells you, or I should say, Buffalo Trace never tells you what they put in the Blanton's barrel. Whatever you get in the bottle could be six, seven, or eight, eight. years old. Mm -hmm. You never know. Maybe, Maybe this got an eight year there. Mini has an eight year. Yeah. Could very well be. Bro. I don't think we failed. I think that it just goes to show that sometimes store picks can be... I've the, picks can be overrated from time to time. They can be. I've had picks that completely blew my mind. Um, I've had four I don't like. Yeah, so this is one that I think is not as good as a regular... Uh, as a regular uh, Blanton's. And uh, how dare you, Churchill bourbon... Or wait, Churchill's cigars. barrel cigar... Wait. Churchill Churchill's cigars. flying cigars. How dare you. Just kidding. No, it's still, I still like it. It's, it's still, still good, good, but I guarantee you, this probably they probably sold it for one hundred and thirty dollars a bottle minimum. I mean, uh, the, I got it from a guy who paid retail, and it was uh, set less than seventy five. Oh, did they do that? Yeah. Okay, well then, Churchill Cigars, I commend you for doing that. I think it went to Bevmo. I think I'm pretty sure it went to Bevmo because they sell okay. cigars. So I think it was a. I think it was at Bevmo. Um, 
But I can't give away somebody else's secrets of how he got this one, because he, he, he has a really clever way of getting Blantons all the time, and uh, um, that's all I'll say on that, but th that's how he got this one. That's awesome. If it was my secret, I would totally give it away, but I'm not going to give away somebody else's secret. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. A uh, good friend um, of the channel. I get the regular stuff. I don't get the barrel picks. Not yet. And if there were yeah. barrel picks, I'd say Nana's on it. Friend of the channel helped me out with uh, getting this one because I, I don't see blends very often. The one I finished recently was the first one I ever got, so this is only the second one I ever got. But same uh, same friend there's got a third one lined up for me because, like I said, he has a pretty clever way to get blends all the time. He told me I would have brought my bottle so I can so we can drink again. more. Yeah. Compare it again. I just I'm dumbfounded, man. I'm dumbfounded with this. I'm pretty surprised. I'm pretty surprised. But that that little mini there, I'm kind of sad we drank it all because. That is good. That is good. Very. Well, drinking buddies, store picks are now three and one against the uh, uh, regular standard bottle. Wow, it's like this. And uh, wow. yeah. So, well, cheers, drinking buddies. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Thank Thanks you. for uh, Marco for coming out. Thank you for having me. Uh, Thank Nana's you for Kitchen, me to be Tucson, part Arizona. Of this, man. If you're ever in Tucson, Arizona, check out Nana's Kitchen. I'm your drinking buddy.com. I'm going to say it every time I'm here. Yeah, hit up my new drinking buddy.com. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Uh, right now, I'm at a point where I'm trying to put out at least five videos a week. Uh, so don't feel like you have to watch all five, but oh, it, subscribe. Uh, subscribe, and then you'll, you, you'll know that I'm putting out a lot of content, which is my, my purpose. I have subscribed to channels that I really liked and then looked at the dates that they post their videos, and I'm like, I might get one video a month. Like, uh, I need more than that. Yeah. Give me my itch. Scratch my itch, you know? I need him so. to make a blanket-sized t-shirt for me so that I could wear it. Imagine his face on, like, right here. Yeah, you, you, you can order <laughs> one. They, they go up to 5X on the website. So. I need a 10. 10? I don't yeah, know I'm about that. I don't know about that. But it's awesome, man. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank you so, for coming on. And Cheers. Time. Cheers, guys. Mmm.